Hey YouTube, in this video we'll be doing an uh, unboxing of two more boxes. So this will be the second and third box from uh, my unboxing series on Commander of the Incessant Waves. So this is the second clan booster for G Vanguard. Uh, in the first one, I did pull one Jockey of the C Great Sea Skyros. This guy is pretty much anti- Anti-defensive deck, so it's like anti-Kagro, anti-Link Joker. Basically stuff that likes to target your stuff. Even anti-Mega Colony, which is actually really, really good, because Mega Colony is probably like the most annoying one to face, them and Link Joker. Um, and then Anger Boil was my other triple R. And then I did pull one of the Blue Storm, or actually, yeah, Blue Storm, Perfect Guard, a Theta, a Favios, or a Fivos. Fought Foey Boss and then one Battle Siren. Adelaide. So, hopefully, we can get another Anger Boil Dragon from one of these and possibly pull some Stride units. I'm pretty confident with eight boxes. I'm more concerned about pull securing the uh, Triple R's, as really, honestly, you only really need like two. Two of the Triple R for the Stride because you will be running Lambros in here. So I'm not too concerned about the stride unit, I just need like two copies. Okay. First, ooh, it's the Surging Ripple Prodromos. And the nice thing about the Ripple stuff is that they're, it's very budget friendly. Because uh, it's funny, in the anime, I think, what's her name? Charlene or Julian, whoever was the one that was fighting uh, Shion in the circuit or the gears crisis whatever um, she was using the ripple stuff and she w they made it look like it was like nothing it was so pathetic and weak but um, yeah it's actually the best one or one of the best ones couple dagger sailors so this was a promo that was really hard to get I didn't even bother getting these now I'm just gonna have all the like shiny ones of them so that's what happens when you wait around for a while for cards like eventually you'll end up with a card because that's how all trading card games work so a couple dagger sailors and now i've got one of these uh, one thing i didn't like about it was the counter blast cost but hey at least it doesn't rely on generation break so that's that's always a plus um, and then we do have a triple r blue wave martial dragon tetra dragon so now i only really need one more of these um so yeah, this is like a miniature Lambros. That's the easiest way to describe it. But it's still a pretty good card overall for blue wave builds. In fact, the nice thing about this, oh yeah, you gotta have blue wave in the heart, so it's really blue wave specific. But like I was saying, if you've got the four Genovius and you've got that old ride chain from Sealed Dragons Unleashed, then it's gonna be pretty easy to build this stuff. So we got the starter there. This one feels like a thick one. Ooh, Kelpie Rider Petros. So this is the Thavos uh, special critical for Thavos, like the character critical, you know, like the thump work, thump art worker, or whatever it's called. It's his equivalent. So Thavos does get some support. I am not a big fan of Thavos. Um, right now, yeah, he's my best. I'd say that's my my best Soccer Force deck is my Thavos deck. Because that's the one that has my Tile Assaults in it. Um, but I don't know. I, I, if I don't pull the GR, Thavos, it won't be a big deal. I won't even bother getting them. Um, I'm more concerned about powering up the older decks. Like the Blue Storm Legion, the Maelstrom stuff, and the Blue Waves, and then the Ripples. So, pulling stuff like this is just like a, a, a plus, in my opinion. So, Blue Storm, Dragon, Maelstrom. So, this, just like what they did with Phantom Blaster, Dragon, and what they did with um, Dragonic Overlord, they reprinted Maelstrom with a Break Ride form. Um, it's pretty good. Break Ride, in my opinion, I, I'm not a big fan of them in the current format. In Stride format, I don't like Break Rides. I feel like they're only a few of them justify their use in this format. Because it's always better to discard, almost always better to discard that grade 3 in your hand 
to stride rather than to use it as a brake ride. So brake ride is just so slow. So I, I may not even use this. It depends. I may try him at like however many copies I pull. I'll probably just use all of them and just substitute in or just run the reverse and the glory. Um, but right now, the normal Maelstrom with the limit brake enabler, I think, is really the way to go because it's it does generate a lot of pressure, and he does gain the extra 5k uh, for free on fourth battle without having to counter blast. So I really like that about the normal Maelstrom or the original Maelstrom. Well, what do you know? Two boxes. I mean, two of these were in the same box. Two of these Kelpie, or these couple Dagger Sailor. So lots of uh, rares in the next couple of boxes here. I think we should have one more double R. We've got our triple R's, Maelstrom and the Anger Boil. Oh, what is this called? Tetra Boil. And there's the Legion guy. So here's the last double R. Blue Wave Soldier Bright Shooter. rares. Somehow I feel like the Bermuda Triangle one had more foil cards. I don't remember just like pulling two of this type of card, like this rarity. I always thought like one card was a double R. It's like they cheaped out on, on the Aqua Force one. Alright, that's the first box. Or that first one, now it's the second one. We'll put them like this. Something and then we'll just. And there's no box topper in this, which also I kind of don't understand why there's nothing else in here. Because I think did the Bermuda one have something in there? I don't remember anymore. So just like the very first box I opened, it's got one of these. Two of those now. Ooh, yes, another. So this is a Ripple guy. And another Tetra Boil Dragon. So that's the second one. So I already have two. So now I can already technically run. Well, I'll need the, the other guy. The Triple R guy. Third one of these. Probably fourth one of that. Maybe even fifth one. I think I've seen that a lot. That penguin guy. Another one of this. This is like a fourth one of this. So another Kelpie Rider Petros. Second one. These boxes are awfully similar. Like this one and the one before it. They both have this. They both have this. Ooh, another one. Now I really kind of want four now. Uh, huh. These are always nice. I don't know how they affect the rarity. I guess they take away from the normal rares. At least I hope they do. Um, someone in the comments let me know. Um, so this is blue. This is the uh, SP, the really weird, cool looking SP for Tetra Boil. This is my third Tetra Boil. So two in the same box. Wow. Whoever is wanting to build Blue Egg, if they pulled this box, they would be like the luckiest person. They'd feel like the luckiest person. Uh, blue Wave Soldier Bright Shooter. Now, now I kind of want to place it. Now I need one more of these. Just need one more uh, triple R, I guess. We should still get another triple R, I would think. Now I've got a play set of couple daggers, sailor. I'll probably end up with a lot of those since I've got eight boxes. And another Maelstrom. So that's, uh, wow. Lots of 
tetra boil and lots of maelstrom. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me since I'm gonna build both the decks. So another Theta for Maelstrom. That's really good. So that's all. That's pretty much all the Hollows. Will be insane if this last one had an ST in it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So it's stuff I've seen before. All right. So. That was the second set, or the next two boxes. Um, I would think so far I've done really good. Um, so just to recap, so the first one I got these completely different things here. Um, hopefully now we'll see more diversity and not a whole lot more of this stuff. Um, I just need one more of these and possibly another one, a third one of him would be good. Only really need three of this, honestly. Um, so... Anyway, guys, that was that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think so far. What's your favorite uh, set, or I guess um, build that you're gonna go with? Whether it's Blue Wave, Blue Storm, Maelstrom, um, or a Ripple, or something else. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video, and stay tuned for more Carpet Vanguard videos in the future. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.